In this video, we'll be going over a palindrome number. So we'll determine whether an integer is a palindrome. An integer is a palindrome when it reads the same forwards as backwards. Could you solve the, could you, uh, and the follow-up is, could you solve it without converting the integer to a string? So for, in the first example, we have x is 1, 2, 1. So if we read it backwards, it's also 1, 2, 1. So let's, go, let's first go over dots before coding. So a palindrome is a string that can be read the same way forwards and backwards. This means this means if we if we reverse x, the reverse version of x will be equal to x. We will implement an approach that does not require us to convert the integer to a string that does not require us to convert integer to a string. Now, how can we reverse x? We can create a variable reverse to keep track of the reverse form of x. We will need to process the rightmost digits of x first, so going from right to left to process the digits of x from right to left. In order to retrieve the rightmost digit, we can use the modulus operator. So digits is equal to, or we should say rightmost digit is equal to x modulus 10. Then, in order to append this digit to our reverse variable, we have to multiply reverse by 10 first. So we have multiply reverse by 10, then increment by digit, basically the rightmost digit. Now we can remove the rightmost digit, remove the rightmost digit of x using the division operator. This will allow us um, this will allow us to process the next rightmost character. So we can say x x divided by ten. After after we have processed all the char uh, all of the digits of x, after we process all of the digits of x, we will then compare x with the reverse form. Let's first go over a pseudocode before we jump into the code. So we have an answer. So let's validate the input parameter. If x is negative, then it is not a palindrome number, so we can return false. So create two variables. So we want them to be a copy, which basically is a copy of x. We do not want to modify x because we still need to compare x with, with the reverse form later. And then we have a reverse, which keeps track of the reverse form f of x. Now we can say, now we'll process each digit of copy instead of x. So while copy is greater than zero, so that means we still have digits to process. Retrieve the rightmost digit. So we can say digits is equal to copy modulus 10. And then we'll append this digit to our reverse. So multiply reverse by 10 and then increment by digit. And then remove the rightmost digit from copy. So remove rightmost digit. We have copy is equal to copy divided by 10. And then we can return true if reverse is equal to x else return false. Now let's go, go over the time and space complexity. So time complexity is equal to O of log of x, where x is the input value.
it is log of x because we process each of the digits of the of x of x. So then we have space complexity is equal to of one. Now we can jump into the code. So we validate the input parameter. If x is less than zero, then we can return false. Then we can create two variables. Int reverse will start from zero and copy will, will be equal to x. And while copy is greater than zero, retrieve the rightmost digit. Copy modulus 10 and then append digits to cop, uh, to reverse. So reverse is equal to reverse times 10 plus digit. Now we can remove the rightmost digit. So copy is equal to copy divided by 10. So return true if reverse is equal to copy. Move the rightmost digits. Oh, reverse is equal to x. Now I go to copy. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.